Your book is called Jews and Ukrainians. <laughs> Professor, aren't the Jews Ukrainians? And aren't you making them the other yourself? Uh, one more, perhaps, at this <laughs> Yes, sir, right here, please. Thank you very much for your stimulating talk. And how much uh, did you both derive from the work of Leonid Finberg and Miroslav Miron, Miron, Marinovich in Ukraine, who basically uh, have been um, working in this area since 91 and probably earlier? Dr. Petrovsky Stan, a question for you. Do you have any plans to write a monograph uh, devoted to Simon Petlura? Yeah. <laughs> um, let me take it out of other questions. <laughs> I'll think, I'll think in the meantime. Uh, I think that uh, in the Ukraine and in Poland, and in fact in the whole of Eastern Europe, Jews were not Poles nor Ukrainians. Jews were Jews, and Ukrainians were Ukrainians, and Poles were Poles. In fact, um, in Canada, I'm from Poland. In Canada, I'm known as a Pole. I spent a year in Israel, and I was known as an Anglo-Saxon. <laughs> the only place where I was a Jew was in Poland. And I believe that that is also true of the Ukraine, not the Ukraine that you envisage in your book, but the Ukraine as it existed when thousands upon thousands of Jews lived in Ukraine before they were murdered. But as I'm listening to this glorious history, I can't forget what has been taught to me, what I have witnessed, what I've seen. I mean, I cannot forget the fact that it was uh, mostly Ukrainians in, uh, in black uniforms who guarded the, uh, the Warsaw Ghetto and, uh, and were shooting in the Warsaw Ghetto. I can't, remember, I can't forget uh, Milnitsky or Peltura or any of those. Um, have you seen him? Have I seen him? It's hard to, uh, to, to forget the fact that uh, uh, John Demianuk and, and so many others uh, guarded uh, Sobibor where my family perished. So um, as much as I admire what you're trying to do with this book, uh, how do I get this uh, poison in me out? How do I negate that and say, yeah, let's, uh, let's all dance together now? Um, <coughs> thank you. I really appreciate what you asked. And I even more appreciate the question that you asked at the end. How do you get this poison out? 